Good morning. Welcome to WTOL 11, your day. I'm Ariel Onstott. Amanda Fay is off today. We're dealing with a historic first alert day as we've seen a massive winter storm blanket Northwest Ohio. Our entire team has been working hard to keep you up to date from the start. And first alert meteorologist Chris Vickers joins us now. Chris, at this point in the morning, do we know anything about snow totals? Yes, historic, Ariel. No doubt about that. 12.4 inches is the report in crazy to think and especially taking a look at how this compares to the blizzard of 78. I think a lot of us weren't really prepared for this morning. Pretty crazy. More snow, less wind, so to speak. So uh, hard to compare one storm to the other. The last time we did see a storm of this magnitude, it would have been January of 2014. So several years ago and another winter storm that uh, really gave us a good, pretty uh, good knock of wintry weather. So one of the largest snowstorms, of course, of the winter season, but the past several years, major blowing drifting of that snow. In fact, widespread drifts of two to four feet showing up. And I'll tell you what, level three snow emergencies still continue to blanket much of the area, which means you should not be on the roadways. In fact, we've got numerous reports of vehicles that are stranded on many county roads. In fact, nearly every county has reports of that coming in. Wind chills, you don't want to be stranded in this. Sub zero, one below zero in Toledo, below zero in southern Michigan, and many areas west of Toledo. We still have a little bit of light snow that's, uh, we have to get through lakeshore areas and east of Toledo. We're looking in and around Woodville where we have first alert defender and look at this. When we talk about roads covered in snow, come on over to the TV screen. If you're in a city area or a, uh, a, a location where you're in within city limits, you're not going to be seeing sites like this. This is out and around Woodville and those county roads are absolutely snow covered and first alert defender really giving it all it has as those snow covered roads are going to be exceptionally difficult to travel. Many reports again of stranded vehicles out on those roads. We give you the eyes uh, show you where you shouldn't be venturing at this point this morning. Sylvania still has light snow that's falling airport highway and again if you're in the Toledo Metro roadway is looking a little bit better. Here's I-75 for the first time this morning we'd actually see a couple lanes that are visible as a little bit of that light snow falls through some sunshine that is trying to make its way through and look at this kind of a cool almost eerie look at what's going on toward the Lake Erie Islands light snow falling and how about that sunshine trying to break through the cloud cover both at the same time so it's a tug of war so to speak between some of that sun and the snow that's falling officially 12.4 inches 17 inches of snow on the ground truly incredible where we stand in the middle of February and this was a historic storm with snowfall rates that exceeded one to two inches per hour at some point last night right before midnight. Now the cold is going to be the next story. We're going to go well below zero tonight. Three, four, five, six degrees below zero. Not out of the question into tomorrow morning. We'll stay cold then through the afternoon tomorrow. Cold weather Wednesday, but brighter skies. Next storm Thursday into Friday looks less significant, not as impactful to the area Thursday into Friday. Still could bring some snow, but at this point, it doesn't appear to be a major storm. And then as we get into next week, how about that? We do warm back up into the freeze above freezing with 30s expected Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday.